Hey guys, welcome back, Bolt Spider here, and today we're going to be going over the last archetype from Valent Smashers, and it is the brand new Centaurian archetype, so let's get right into it. First up, we have Centaurian Primera. It She is a level 4 light spellcaster tuner effect monster with 1600 attack and 1600 defense. You can only use each of the following effects, 1 and 3, of cards with this card's name once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Centaurian card from your deck to your hand except Centaurian Primera. Also, you cannot special summon Centaurian Primeras for the rest of this turn. If this card is treated as a continuous trap, level 5 or higher Centaurian monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects. And during your main phase, if this card is treated as a continuous trap card, quick effect, you can special summon it. So being able to swap between Trap and monster is very useful, and I definitely want to know what this deck's actual gimmick is, because right now I'm definitely seeing it, but I don't really see much of the deck doing anything, because that card is a great start, and I hope the others have a hard stride along. Next up, we have Centaurian Trude. It She is a dark level 4 pyro effect monster, 1000 attack, 2000 defense. You can only use the following effect, 1 and 2 of this card with this name once per turn. During your main phase, you can place both this card you control and one Centauria monster from your hand or deck in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous trap. Also, you cannot special summon Centaurian Tr uh, Trude Trudia for the rest of this turn. During the main phase, if this card is treated as a continuous trap, quick effect, you can special summon this card, then you can increase this card's level by four. So being able to get two of them out super fast is pretty cool and I think this is going to be your three of starter because you normal summon it activate effect well and then place this and another as a continuous trap card I could definitely see that being something that's going to be noteworthy later on next up we have the cover being Centurion Emmett the sixth and it is a earth level eight machine effect monster with 2000 attack 3000 defense you can, only, you can only use each of the following effect, 1 and 2, of this card's name per turn. During your opponent's turn, if this card is in the hand or graveyard while you control a Centaurian monster, except Centaurian Emmet the Sixth, quick effect, you can place this card in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous trap card. Also, you cannot special summon Centaurian Emmet the Sixth for the rest of this turn. During the main phase, if this card is treated as a continuous trap card, quick effect, special summon it. So they all have that quick effect special summon. That's very interesting, but with how this deck is looking, I really don't see a potential for this. I think you might be able to get to their level 12 synchro monster fast if you open up the level 4 and put the tuner or put that the level 8 in it and then try and special up the level 4. But there's a lot that this deck definitely needs to make this something viable. For the Synchro Monster, we have Centaurian Legatit, or Legatia. She is a level 12 light machine Synchro effect with 3500 attack and 2000 defense. It takes one tuner plus one plus non-tuner, so one or more non-tuner monsters. You can only use the first and last effect of this card once per turn, so the first and third. Got it. And if this card is special summoned, draw one card, then you can destroy the monster with the highest attack on your opponent's field. Two, monsters you control with 2,000 or less attack cannot be destroyed by battle. And three, during the end phase, quick effect, you could place one non-synchro Centaurian monster from your hand or graveyard face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous trap card. So, uh, this synchro monster is not the best but it's still something being able to protect your monster with 2000 attack or less so it could definitely have some uses in the future with this deck but it's not really a big payoff in my opinion next up we have stand up centaurians it's their field spell and you can only use the second and third effect of this card with this card's name once per turn so this card cannot be destroyed by your opponent's effects while you control a centaurian monster card during your main phase, if you activated this card this turn, you can send one card from your hand to the graveyard, place one Centaurian monster from your deck, face up into your spell and trap card zone as a Centaurian trap. If a monster is special summoned, you can immediately after this effect resolve synchro summon by using monsters you control 
as materials, including Centaurian monsters. Well, this is actually a bigger payoff than I thought it would be, being able to set up your level 4s and 8s very instantly on top of being able to quick synchro. Uh, so you could definitely go into things like Crimson Dragon or even make a Barone if you can if you run Bestials with this deck. But also you can make quite a lot of neat things with that. And I can't wait to see what people do and break with this card. Afterwards, we have Face of the Centaurians. It is a quick play spell card, and you can only use the first and second effect of this card with this card's name once per turn. Uh, place one Centaurian monster from your hand or graveyard face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous trap. If a Centaurian Synchro Monster is special summoned to your field while this card is in your graveyard, you can banish this card, then target one Centaurian monster in your graveyard, place it face up in your spell and trap card zone as a continuous trap. This card right here fixed all the issues I had with the deck, but being able to recycle and place your cards to the spell and trap card zone is very useful. And if you sync, if your synchro monster is special summoned to your field while it's in your graveyard, you just get another card in your spell and trap card zone, which can be very useful depending on what turn it is because you can use them as defenders or you can use them as attackers. This is a very nice strategy. I'm really liking it as overall. Next up we have the first trap card being Centurion Phalanx. It's a normal trap card and you can only use one effect of this card once per turn. So one or the other. The first effect is you can target one face up monster on the field, banish it, but special summon it back to its owner's field during the next standby phase. Or you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one Centurion Synchro monster in your graveyard, special summon it but decrease its attack by 1500. That could come in handy if you had multiple Synchros, one on the field, one in the graveyard, so you can bring it back so the other one can't be destroyed by your opponent. I really think this is interesting, but I wish it wasn't just Synchro Monster. I wish it was just overall on any of the monsters, and I hope that's the case, and it's a mistranslation, but if it's not... It's definitely going to be very weird because this deck might get more Synchro Monsters in the future, to be honest, and that would be very cool to have just in case, because one Synchro is not enough for a deck like this. And finally, we have Truth Centurion. It is the counter trap of the deck, and you can only activate one copy of this card per turn. When a monster effect or spell or trap card is activated, you can send one face-up monster in your spell and trap card zone to the graveyard, negate its activation, and destroy it. Being a very basic um very being a very basic normal just counter trap here it's very very good it's definitely can be used in things like crystal beast or anything like maybe valence i think but that's going to be very situational outside of that this archetype is definitely going to be needing their more support because they only have nine cards in this deck build set and we only covered eight of them and i'm worried about that last card but anyways i've been bolt spider i hope you guys did enjoy and see you guys in the next video